So I guess welcome everyone. Yay! It's Ash Play Super Panel, and uh, technically all this hour till 2:15 we'll talk about Franz Peter Schubert, the classical slash romantic composer of Germany. He was born in Germany, Germany, Germany <laughs> in Austria. Um, first, I would like to introduce his most famous piece. It's called Night Serenade. Which, and this is my piano. Everything will be performed live. There is no recordings. I can, you can check if you want to. I don't care. <laughs> so I guess we'll just get started. And then after that, we'll discuss his biography, how he lived, how he, how he lived. I guess. <laughs> okay. And now we can get started on the main phase. So you just heard the Night Serenade, if you just came, arrived, I don't know. Uh, so Franz Peter Schubert was born on January 31st, that's a nice date, in 1797 in Hippelfort, Austria, France, and he was born, and he lived only 31 years. He died from syphilis, unfortunately. And nine, in 1828. So he was born, um, uh, and um, really, he was a very talented child. Like, five years, he already started playing piano and violin, and then he got into a music school, which is called Stadtkonvikt, and he earned a scholarship. 
into choir, and he had a great voice. There are no recordings, obviously, but all the evidence that say he's a very great singer. He played a violin, he played organ, and he played piano. So he was a very talented child, and he got promoted to a uh, choir assistant. And uh, but it, you know, teenager, he, his voice broke. I used to sing very high too. Now my bass voice, the same thing basically. Um, and then he took a job uh, as an assistant at his father's, father's school. So his father was a headmaster in the school. So he just started helping his father. So at the age of 16, he started composing his own music, and that's actually. It wasn't that great because any th oh, his early music is not that popular, really. Like when he got mature, at the age of twenty, that music became like the most popular thing, and people still play it. Um, he started uh, making songs from eighteen thirteen. He he mostly did music. He tried to make songs, and they didn't get as popular. And I'll explain why. So then he started teaching music. He became a teacher. At the age of 22, he had this first public performance where he, well, basically from 16 to 21, he composed music and then <sighs> he composed an operetta, which is called The Twin Brothers and the Magic Harp, and they were not successful at all. So then he got very poor, unfortunately, and uh, he composed more music, and there was a funny story, really. He was, he went bankrupt at all, and he went to a public cafe, um, he wanted to compose. He went to compose a song, but he didn't have any paper to write with. He didn't have a pen, so he went to a restaurant, like a small cafe, let's just say, and there was a menu, a paper menu. So he he asked for, uh, for a system for the pen for a pen, and the back side of the menu was empty. So he wrote the whole song on the back side of the menu, and later, I think in the, in 20th century, it got sold by maybe 100,000 euros, because. It's it's such a Junie song. Uh, I think it was f there was Pharrell. I think there was a fish song about fish. I, I don't know. It's German song. I don't know how to say German. Uh, so in 1821, uh, he began offering his songs on subscription basis. Let's just say, right now it's called a panel. What's happening right now? Back then it was called um, Schubertian, like a Schubert Schubert party. Schubert came. He's like and boss. I'm a party I'm a DJ, and he played his songs for people, and everyone was absolutely amazed by it. Uh, he got his money by this way. It was pretty good, like DJs, right? They're they get pretty much a lot of money right now, um, and mostly wealthy people could afford that because you know poor people just. What's the point of inviting, uh, you know, first class composer to sing German songs where they can just you know sit together and sing their own pop folk? German songs. Uh, so then he again became poor because he didn't have any success in teaching and he didn't have that much success in giving his parties. Um, and then he f decided to become a musical director, but he failed the job and he got kicked out again. But uh, in his last years, he decided to join with Goethe, which is a um, German poet. Um, Goethe wrote lots of poems. It, he was just, you know, one day, one poem. He wrote a cycle of poems called uh, of Miller's Beloved One and uh, Winter East, which is uh, Winter Way. And Schubert decided, hmm, maybe I should make music for these poems because why not? Th because it's cool. So they joined up together and Schubert composed a song cycle. The first one in the world, song cycle. And Schubert still holds the patent for it because he invented it. Song cycle um, called Miller's Beloved One by the poems of William Goethe. And today I'm actually joining with my friend to actually sing one song from that cycle in German. That's to the end of the panel. Um, his first and final public concert was on March 26th, 1828. And it was the first and last one. And he could afford to buy a piano. His first piano at the age of 31. And then, several months later, he died from syphilis. So, 31 years, and that's the life of the composer. So, why Schubert? First, 
First things first. I like it. <laughs> I like his music. Second, I think that, well, not I think really, uh, he is just a genuine composer who first invented soy cycle, song cycle. Second, his music is worth listening to. And uh, really, Schubert got a lot of inspiration from Beethoven and they buried it, buried it right beside each other in, in Stuttgart Park in Vienna. They buried it beside each other, yeah, so that. Uh, well, pretty much, pretty much that's it about his biography. He, is, he hasn't lived, he has lived a lot. There's nothing much to talk about, but his compositions, his compositions are really worth. So today, um, I decided to not go with really many compositions. I decided to pick three, four most popular ones, and pretty much no one knows about them, unfortunately, and they're really beautiful. A couple of them are seem to be easy, but they sound really good. Uh, some are over my level <laughs> of playing piano, but they sound even better. So first one is A flat major um, impromptu. So he composed only eight impromptus. Impromptu was like a new genre of music, which is really quick composition. Let's just say, um, not that much effort into it. Not like a symphony, which is for like 20, 40 minutes. It's five to eight music five to eight minutes solo piano composition. And the first one will be in A flat major, and it's a standard media form. So you will hear uh, pretty much uh, the very calm introduction that really reminds of Beethoven's sonata. And then the middle part, you'll notice it will start working in trios, triplets, and it goes into fortissima in A major, and then it just slowly comes down into the end. So this, I think this is like the longest one, uh, I will last for like eight and a half minutes, maybe se seven to eight and a half minutes, depends on how, I don't know, how fast I go. <laughs> so let's, let's just get started with it. Put it on, uh, put it on table.
Thank you. Um, okay, let's get started with the next one. So, oh, that's my favorite. That's literally my favorite. G flat major X impromptu. It's a brilliant example of Schu Schubert's just outstanding lyrical ability. So, what it is, it's a song with no words, honestly. You'll find the melody, and you will remember this melody maybe <laughs> for the rest of your life because I, I just adore this. Uh, the triplets are like broken accompaniment, which you will hear throughout the whole thing. There will be a constant accompaniment. So my right hand will never stop playing, literally. Um, and yeah, it is written in four slash two meter. So there are four beats, but only, okay, let's just say if the meter is half, which is one, two, three, four, but the meter is two, oh, one, two, three, four. It's double the rhythm to actually make the melody work. Because it's, if you won't make it like that, the harp will be like 32s, because it will be really fast. And uh, it's eight pages long. It's really long. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But it's just the best. Let's, OK, let me just get my music, and I'll get started. Yeah, I will. <laughs> yeah, I will, 100%.
Whew. Wow. The last one. The last impromptu I'm going to play for you today is B flat major, which is absolutely amazing, but it's way over my level. Um, uh, and I actually, it took me about two months to learn it, but just, you know, every day, sitting and trying, trial and failure. I actually try about five versions of this to find the correct fingers, because, you know, when you play fast enough, correct fingers, huh, that's rule. So it's an impromptu with a theme and improvisations. So we got the theme, which will be played first, which is B flat major. Uh, first variation will obviously branch off the theme, have the same flow, have the same harmony, but the different way of playing it. Third, third variation, no, actually the second variation from the theme will be again the same. The fourth one, um, it's absolutely going into minor. It goes into, um, which one is that? I really, I don't play, I don't, I just don't, I just play music, I don't care where it goes really. <laughs> but do we care really? Okay, it goes into minor. Um, and it's really a tragical thing. Um, I kn I've known this for a long time, actually it was back in my home country. Um, I was in a musical competition and we had Schubert as the main person um, that we were like competing for. Um, all the questions were about Schubert. And for music discussion, there was, you know, the part of the context was music discussion. We got a sheet of paper. And uh, a pianist played us a piece, which will be this one. And we're supposed to think and reflect on it. So I, being a very cool guy, I won it. Because uh, <laughs> I wrote that this piece is, is about life. It's the first part is being newborn, the child is just learning, looking at everything. The second part is about exploring when teenagehood. Third part is, um, you know, 20s when you got, I don't know, study work or university, meeting new people, so many possibilities. The fourth part is losing your parents because that's uh, usually the time. And it's very tragical. Like the third variation will be minor. It's very tragical. And the last part is just the rest of the life. I actually had to cut it because it's 12 minutes long. It's 12 minutes long and I had to cut two parts of it. So it will be about eight minutes. Um, so the fifth one, the fifth part is maturity. Just, you know, enjoying life. And the last part is, you know, light is dimming. You're already on the, on the way to the end. And it's very short, that's the last part the shortest one, but it's it's a theme part, which actually takes the whole theme and arranges it into chords, and it just sounds gorgeous. So let's get started. Oh, it's gonna fall again. I almost forgetting.
oh, we got like like more than 30 people. <laughs> nice. So I just, I guess I'll invite Jonathan to the stage and I'll give him a microphone. Go. Let's see if I can fix this uh, mic stand. So we get in here and we tell the guy we need a mic stand. He goes, he comes back, he gets me a mic stand, and uh, then my friend here starts playing, and all of a sudden the thing starts just dropping down. I figure I better take care of this before it steals the show away. My name is Jonathan. I've known uh, Esh for a little bit of time now, and when he initially asked me to uh, work on this with him, I was a little hesitant. I've uh, sung a little jazz, I've sung a little pop before. I've never done anything remotely operatic. It requires you to do different things with your voice in different ways, and it needs a bit more power. So it took me a bit of work practicing it, but uh, when I read the story that it's based on, I was really interested. Um, we're gonna s I'm going to sing for you right now with him playing the, uh, the 19th of a 20-song piece. Uh, it is about essentially uh, one man and a woman he cannot have. The Miller is a character who comes across this beautiful woman but finds that although he tries so very hard to make her fall in love with him, it just can't. And instead of letting go, it turns into an obsession. In the final, the most important piece of this, piece number 19, he finds himself beside a babbling brook, speaking to it confiding in it, telling him how his sorrow is so powerful, even the heavens above cannot ignore it, and the angels weep and cry. And the brook responds to him, telling him it may be, it may be difficult now, but even the heavens, even a broken man's heart can be fixed again. Everything can be all right. But it's not enough to console the miller. And in the final piece, the final page, he just reiterates his tale of sorrow and finishes by throwing himself into the brook. It's a melancholy piece, but a very powerful one at the same time. Okay, what's my name? Es 
So we still have like 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, and maybe we can go even further. So I see a lot more people, and <laughs> I started with like five people, and I played a couple of pieces. Yeah, sure. Have yeah. <sighs> Not sure. And uh, I was prepared only for kind of a couple of these pieces. No problem, no, I like questions. So um, I was just thinking about maybe I should repeat one more piece because not many people were here. Yep. <laughs> Come fly with me. No, I know fly me to the moon. Fly me to the moon. I can do it like I know, no, I don't have sheet music with me, but I could sing a bell like, you make me feel so young. You make me feel so spring and sprung. And every time I see you grin, I'm such a happy individual. <laughs> I could do that one. I actually sang this song at Vancouver 2014, like in February. So, um, well, I will just, well, maybe I should repeat one piece. So I would like to ask you, would you like to hear G flat major, the harp, which I played, or the A flat major, which is the first one I ever played? Because, I mean, you know, we just got to eat time, and you guys haven't heard those. What's your favorite? My favorite? Yeah. What's your favorite? Oh, the harp. Oh. <laughs> the harp. Okay. Okay, eight pages. Yeah.
Sorry? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next year, Frank Sinatra panel. I promise you. <laughs> okay. Okay, next year, music show, you're in. <laughs> okay, guys, so I guess we just need to wrap up. We, I think we have, like, ten more minutes, just, like, because ten, oh, yeah, five. Five, okay, I, let's just make it a question and answers. Uh, you can ask about me, you can ask about music, you can ask about Schubert, you can ask about anything. I mean, at the beginning, I already told everyone the biography, so... Okay, just questions. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Any other? Yeah. Uh, I, I bought it on. Well, I commissioned it. First, because I'm, I have, a f I'm commissioned two full for suits. I'm a furry, honestly. Uh, commission it means you ask an artist or craftsman, you give them money and you give them your reference, like your original character, and then make it by that reference, oh. like the stale. <laughs> uh, I made a reference picture for my character and my maker, f full suit maker, uh, because I have two. F okay, you know this shiny arm and rainbow dash walking around like. Well, I'm getting the same but big one of my original character. I'm getting two of them. So, yeah, and it's a part of it. I just, you know, it's attachable. I can walk. I can walk. I was like, you like my tail? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I gotta comb my tail. <laughs> That's kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah, both. I don't know any other questions. Uh, I'm from Russia. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Well, uh, uh, was going to be a challenge for you. What would you like to try playing there next? Chopin. Chopin is Vancouver 2014. And there will be Schubert panel and Chopin panel of Vancouver 2014, which will last for three hours. I'm sorry? Yeah, 15, yeah. I'm going to the past. Time traveling. <laughs> so, yeah, in 2015, next year, in March, there will be three hour. So, I guess maybe three hours, maybe two and a half hours is going to be a big panel. And there are going to be Sch Schubert and Chopin joined together. Yeah. And Frank Sinatra. Whatever. <laughs> 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 yeah. More Frank Sinatra. <laughs> well, I guess every year I'll just sing a song of Frank Sinatra. That's like, that's what I do. So, I mean, I'll just say something about me. I'm 17 years old. I came from Russia two years ago to Canada. Um, I've been playing piano since I'm 11. So it's like almost six years. Oh, no. I started when in May. So, it's, yeah, it's six years playing piano. Well, I mostly self-taught. I've played for two years myself, and then two years of mu three years of musical school, and I've graduated it's all seven years. Um, I mean, my teacher was like, "No, you're gonna do two years in one." I'm like, "Okay, whatever, whatever you say, senpai." He's like, "Yeah, yes, 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 sure." And I finished it, and then I came to Canada. Well, nothing. I can't afford to pay forty bucks an hour because for th all seven years, like in total, in Russia, I paid three hundred dollars for all seven years of education. $300, we bought, a, we bought a package. So you know, your child is like sexy, you go to musical school, you just pay $300. And that's it, like the whole the whole course, whatever, like one to seven, because it's, it's really cheap. Like for 40 bucks an hour, like I can give lessons, I can give lessons. If you <laughs> I actually give lessons, so, but no one no one's, no wants it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. It's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. 
You're the most active participant. So yes, <laughs> applause, applause, applause. Yeah. So if any other questions, and if we have any other questions, we're gonna, I'm gonna answer right away. If not, we're just gonna wrap up because the new panel's coming. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Oh, come, okay, okay. Okay, just for you guys, okay. The, the, I guess that's the end, so we can just wrap up. Thank you. Oh.